Okay, um, so if anyone has a question or wants to know how to easily drill for the counterbores on the bed of your uh, Voron, uh, this is a quick guide to do it if you don't have access to a bridge port or a drill press or anything. What you're going to need is your bed. Um, I don't have a bed here. This is just a 3 8 cold roll seal plate that I'm using as a substitute, but you get the idea. Uh, you're going to need your screw, which is an M3 screw, and you're going to need a drill, which is clearance for the uh, screw itself, and then a bigger drill bit, which is going to be for the counterbore. So for the drill bit size, um, just to give you a perspective, an M3 screw, 115 thou for the screw itself, and then the head is about 215 thou thick. Now, fun fact for screws, if you need to know how deep you need to go to counterbore it, the depth of the head is roughly the same as the thickness of the screw. So a quarter inch screw, you need to counterbore a quarter inch deep. In this case, since it's M3 screw, you need to counterbore three millimeters deep or 116 thou. So, to make it easy, uh, the drill bits I'll be using are just the straight up fractional. You have a 1 8th, and then this one here is a 15 64th, and I've marked it with tape so I don't accidentally uh, go too deep. So, um, simply show you how to do it. So, the first one, you're going to use your 1 8th drill, or any drill bit that is actually bigger than 115 thou. You don't want to go too big because you'll blow the hole open. Uh, First, you're going to lay out the location of the four holes, and then you're going to center punch them. Um, use either a drill bed or proper center punch if you have one. You need to center punch first before you drill, or your drill bit will wander, and the holes need to be relatively on location. So to start off, drill the clearance hole. Now you need to be careful when you break through the bottom, the drill bit has a tendency to bite. Okay. Now again, this is cold rolled steel. You'll be drilling through aluminum. Uh, you'll have no problem doing it with any decent drill bit or um, an electric drill. This is an air drill, so I'm at work right now. And then you need to counterbore it. This one's going to be a little bit trickier. Just go slow. You think you're going too deep, just stop for a second and check it. It doesn't need to be perfect. And you can see there, we've gone deep enough. The screw is sitting below the surface. See it's below the surface and it's properly counterboard. What you can do now is, uh, if you have a chamfer tool, clean up the edge there or a stone or a file or something just so you don't have any you know, rough edges or whatever. But uh, right there, that's all you need to do. Is just clean it up and just take a look without it. Now again, if you have a proper counterbore tool, um, you can use that, but most people don't have a proper counterbore tool uh, for an M3 screw. So that is the simplest way. To do the holes, you would just do four of these uh, after you lay them out on your plate. And there you go. Now, another tip, uh, here I had it overhanging. Aluminum bends a little easy, so what you can do is actually just clamp it directly to like a piece of plywood or two by four or something and drill directly into the wood. Uh, it'll prevent that breakthrough problem with the drill bit biting and you don't risk bending your uh, perfectly flat Lexus aluminum plate. And then of course you would lay your PEI on top after drilling and then you would have to just cut out a little hole to get to the screw. So that's how you do it.